Have you ever looked at a mountain range and thought, how could a ship get up there? Probably not. But imagine the challenge of moving a ship over such rugged terrain. It's not a common thought, but it's a fascinating problem that engineers have solved. Transporting cargo over land is a monumental task, especially when mountains are in the way. Trucks and trains have their limitations, and the obstacles are numerous and daunting. Enter the shiplift, a brilliant solution to an age-old problem. These incredible devices are designed to lift ships over significant height differences, making the seemingly impossible possible. Think of them as gigantic elevators for ships. They effortlessly overcome massive height differences, allowing vessels to traverse otherwise impassable terrain. Imagine lifting a massive vessel hundreds of feet into the air smoothly and efficiently. It's an engineering marvel that never ceases to amaze. For engineers, seeing a ship lift in action is a moment of pure joy. It's the culmination of years of hard work and innovation. You might think, why not just sail around the mountains? It seems like a simpler solution, right? Well, in many cases, that's simply not an option. Natural obstacles like blocked waterways and impassable terrain make it impossible. Nature loves to challenge us. Strong currents, rocky riverbeds, and other obstacles make navigation difficult, if not impossible. For centuries, we've been building dams to manage water flow and generate power. These massive structures are engineering marvels in their own right. Dams create reservoirs that store water and generate hydroelectric power, providing essential resources for communities. But there's a downside. Dams also create barriers to navigation, making it difficult for ships to pass through. The concept of lifting ships isn't new. Early engineers experimented with various methods to overcome these barriers, leading to the sophisticated ship lifts we have today. Modern ship lifts are the result of centuries of innovation and refinement. They represent the pinnacle of our ability to adapt and overcome the challenges posed by nature. So, the next time you see a mountain range, remember the incredible engineering feats that make it possible for ships to move uphill. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of progress. Dams are the sentinels of the aquatic realm. They stand tall and commanding, regulating the flow of water with a majestic presence. By adjusting their gates, they control the flow, maintain water levels, and ensure everything runs smoothly. They manage the intricate balance of water distribution. However, like a bouncer at an exclusive club, they can be quite challenging to bypass. For ships and boats, these massive structures are significant obstacles. Dams create a disparity in water levels. This difference isn't just a minor hurdle. It's a substantial change that impacts navigation and water management. Imagine it as a colossal staircase, with the dam acting as the step. Each step signifies a different water level, forming a series of aquatic terraces. This variation in water levels, known as head, is crucial for generating hydroelectric power. The head is the height difference between the upstream and downstream water levels. The greater the head, the more potential energy the water holds, and the more electricity can be produced. This is why many dams are constructed in regions with significant elevation changes. But for ships navigating these waters, it's a major hurdle. The difference in water levels can make it nearly impossible for vessels to pass through without help. So, how do you get a ship up a giant staircase of water? enter the lock. Locks are brilliant engineering solutions that allow ships to move between different water levels by raising or lowering them in a chamber. The lock fills with water to lift the ship to the higher level or drains to lower it to the downstream level, enabling navigation despite the dam's imposing presence. Thanks to locks, the barriers created by dams can be surmounted, allowing for the smooth passage of vessels and the continued flow of commerce and travel. Locks are the unsung heroes of water navigation. They might not be the most glamorous part of a dam, but they are crucial for allowing ships to traverse different water levels. Essentially, locks are chambers built into the dam, with gates at both ends. These gates open and close to control the water flow in and out of the chamber. When a ship enters the lock, the gates close behind it, and water is either pumped in or out to match the water level on the other side of the dam. This process can take several minutes, depending on the lock's size and the volume of water involved. Think of it as a liquid elevator, gradually raising or lowering the ship to the needed level. 
This slow and steady approach ensures the ship transitions safely and efficiently between different water levels. However, locks have their limitations. They can only handle a certain height difference at a time, requiring multiple locks for larger elevation changes. The greater the height difference, the more locks are needed and the longer the passage takes. This can cause significant delays, especially in busy waterways, with multiple ships waiting to pass through. For massive dams with substantial height differences, using locks can be extremely time-consuming and inefficient. Moving a ship through a series of locks can take hours or even days, depending on traffic and the height difference. This is where the engineering marvels known as ship lifts come into play. These colossal structures can lift entire ships in one go, eliminating the need for multiple locks and drastically reducing the time required to move between different water levels. Let's explore the realm of monumental engineering. The Three Gorges Dam in China is a towering achievement in engineering. It boasts the world's largest ship lift, capable of raising vessels weighing up to 3,000 tons to a height of 370 feet, taller than the Statue of Liberty. This marvel uses an enormous water-filled chamber, acting like a gigantic bathtub. The chamber is lifted and lowered by a series of powerful hydraulic cylinders, allowing ships to bypass the dam's significant height difference much quicker than traditional locks. This structure exemplifies human ingenuity and transforms shipping on the Yangtze River. Gupatan Ascending heights with water and steel Our journey now takes us to the Gupatan Dam, a shining example of China's engineering excellence. The dam features a ship lift that looks like it belongs in a science fiction movie. Unlike conventional vertical lifts, the Gupatan system uses a sloped channel and a gigantic cradle to raise ships over a 330-foot elevation. Vessels enter the cradle at the dam's base, and the entire structure is slowly winched up the inclined channel by a network of strong steel cables. It's like a massive water slide for ships, and it's just as impressive as it sounds. Chapter 6. Strepi Thieu, a century-old marvel still lifting. Our next stop is Belgium, where we delve into the Strepi Thieu boat lift. Built over a century ago, this enduring ship lift exemplifies the timeless influence of superior engineering. With its massive counterweight system, this historic lift elevates and lowers a 3,000-ton caisson, ship included. An engineering and historical wonder, it remains in use today, lifting ships over 250 feet. The Strepi Tio boat lift is a testament to the enduring value of traditional engineering methods. Chapter 7 Krasnoyarsk, where ships ride the rails. Our adventure now leads us into the depths of Siberia, where the impressive Krasnoyarsk ship lift in Russia is located. This ingenious system merges water and rail to transport ships over the Krasnoyarsk Dam. Ships are placed into a unique basin, which is then elevated out of the water and onto a railway track. The basin, with the ship aboard, is then hauled uphill on a specially designed railway track, overcoming the dam's impressive 320-foot height difference. It's an unconventional yet highly effective solution, showcasing the creativity and adaptability of engineers when faced with formidable challenges. Section 8. A Brighter Future. Lifted by Ingenuity. These extraordinary engineering feats transcend mere geographical challenges. They are about connecting people, boosting economies, and forging a path to a brighter future. The ship lifts we've explored offer a faster, more efficient, and environmentally friendly way to move goods and people across waterways. They reduce reliance on trucks, thereby easing traffic congestion and cutting down greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, they open up new avenues for trade and commerce, linking communities and fostering economic growth. Chapter 9. Beyond the Horizon, the next wave of engineering wonders. As we look ahead, we are inspired and thrilled by the boundless opportunities that lie before us. The ingenuity and determination that have brought these incredible ship lifts to fruition highlight the infinite potential of human creativity. From autonomous vessels to underwater transit systems, the future of engineering is limited only by our imagination. So let's continue to dream big, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and who knows what extraordinary marvels we'll create next.